my goodness. Wait, this is this ours? Yeah. Well, this is something I've never experienced before in Indonesia. Tonight's our last night. We just booked a bus out of Makassar to uh, a town up in North Sulawesi. So we just got out of this coffee shop here. If you guys want to know where it's at, it's called uh, Kopi Hub, basically. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, people here are pretty friendly. Um, yeah, we booked the bus for 190k each. It's a sleeper bus, uh, and it is fairly cheap. It's like $13. So. Who knows what it's gonna turn out like there's no photos of it so it's gonna be either an economy bus or a luxury bus we'll we'll find out but uh let's go grab some food our, our bus isn't for another two hours in asia it's always difficult crossing the street especially busy intersections like this one okay guys i don't know how we just crossed this traffic this is a major major street <laughs> that was scary So when traveling in though, these food truck stands are pretty common actually. And uh, we've come here on the side of the road, quite literally gotten some uh, samba with some chicken, some cabbage as well. And uh, we're gonna be eating here right on the side of the road. Now most of these uh, local stands are selling just local dishes, really simple stuff, whether it's chicken noodles, uh, soup even, or even rice. And he's interested in my camera here, <laughs> his camera shot. But we're gonna go ahead and eat here and then we're gonna be stopping off really quick at Indomar because one thing you must do when you're going on the sleeper sleeper bus is get snacks. We're now in Indomar trying to get some snacks, some drinks for the bus. Because this is an overnight bus, it's gonna be quite a long drive. Uh, and we're not gonna get there until the morning, so might as well stock up. <laughs> and now we begin the, the long walk to the bus station with all these cars and bikes driving right by us. So loud here, so loud. Okay, so I made it exaggerated just a little bit. It only took about a 10 minute walk, but as you guys saw, Indonesia doesn't really believe in sidewalks, so we saw, we walk on the road basically. And uh, look at all these buses. Wow. So people are shipping out a lot of stuff. Online. <clears throat> Honestly guys, I don't know where I'd be with Akintanya in this situation because there is absolutely 100% no way that they are speaking English here. That would have been a fun experience to watch. Yeah. So that's the ticket. So now we got about an hour wait before we get on the bus and then show you what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty much like in the middle of nowhere. We're, we're basically in a bus hangar here. Uh, lots of people waiting around and they got a lot of people shipping stuff as well on the buses um, But yeah, every, every bus seems to be about 200k IDR, which is actually relatively cheap if you think about it So apparently our bus has arrived so let's go ahead and board it and show you what it looks like for 13 US dollars What? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Wait, this is this ours? Yeah. Okay, I guess we're sleeping in here with two more people. Uh, hopefully there's no people here so that I can sleep here and then here. Well, this is something I've never experienced before in Indonesia. Four bunk beds in the back of a bus while everybody else is in the back here on a regular seat. Here. Worth the uh, 200k? <laughs> I think so. You think so? I mean, I can sleep here. Yeah. Okay, guys, welcome to our crib. <laughs> this is going to be our home for the next nine hours. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a little bit how our home looks like. Wow. So now we got four beds, but we only paid two beds here. Hopefully, there will be nobody is coming here. So it's gonna be our entire place. And uh, we have one small mattress. Bed. Mattress. <laughs> Rolling pillow, this is really important for me. And one pillow, and then we also have a small blanket here. I think they do have a charger. Oh, they do? And a curtain. And a the curtain. Bo the bottom ones have a but curtain. 
this is going to be all oh, this up here okay. all this up here and then got some AC but the thing about it they don't have a toilet in the bus overall though I am pleasantly surprised for 200k actually less than 200 well 200k um, there's <laughs> you guys want to sleep on a bus with four of your well three other of your friends this is the pretty good option actually um, how do you think it compares to the sleeper bus that we did on uh, Jokja? You like this better? It's cheaper. The bed is actually kind of comfortable though. I think I'm gonna fall asleep pretty quickly in this. And this is like a full on bed. It's really nice. You've got a double double mattress I think. And because the bus is vibrating, it feels like a massage while you're sleeping. <laughs> Indonesia, you find new ways to surprise me every single time I, I make a new video. So. This is a great option, guys. However, guys, if you aren't booking the sleeper bus, this is the kind of seat you'll get. So this is the other seat that people are sitting in, like this. Which is honestly not too bad, I must say, um, because the seat reclines pretty far, it looks like. Um, they don't have any TVs, of course, and it looks like they don't have any chargers in the seat, unlike us. We have a charger, which is great. Um, so I can actually charge my computer and do some editing if I want to. Guys. Oh, wow, guys. Big thumbs up for this. The name of this bus is called Bus Bintang Prima. It's called Executive Class. And it's about a nine hour, nine hour bus ride. And uh, yeah, we're going to be getting a nice, good sleep here, guys. We have left the bus station and on the way to Tana Toraja. So shouldn't be more than a few more minutes until we get off this bus, I think. Okay, looks like we've arrived. Leave it long soon. Hello. Well, I thought we were going to the hotel, but I guess we're starting the day with a tour. Um, but I do want to give you guys a quick recap as to how the bus was. As you can see, I'm still very tired. I did not get any sleep. Um, it was a very windy and fast road, so no sleep at all, and I got very nauseous. So if you guys are planning on taking this bus, take some uh, seasickness medicine because uh, or anti-nausea medicine because you will you will feel like you want to throw up however the bed was extremely comfortable i must say but because the roads are just so bumpy along the way it's just you're going through villages you're not even driving on the highway um so that's partially one of the reasons however we're here this place is beautiful and i cannot wait to get the day started here guys so hope you guys enjoyed the bus tour and I will see you guys in the next video here in Tana Toracha.